Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Iron Angels, also known as Angel, also known as Midnight Angels, a Hong Kong action flick from 1987 that stars Moon Lee and Yukari Oshima. Now, some fans of Hong Kong movies will use subgenre labels to describe certain kinds of films, like Heroic Bloodshed or Cat 3, although Cat 3 is technically a rating, but uh, not a genre. But people kind of describe it as such, or use it as such. Well, there is another subgenre of film out there called Girls with Guns, which are essentially action films with women in the lead roles. These movies are frequently set in contemporary times, hence the explicit reference to gunplay. So the term does not include all of those high-flying fantasy flicks or uh, historical swordplay films. On the contrary, these Girls with Guns movies were hard-hitting actioners that were frequently set in urban environments and employed a mix of gunplay and martial arts. This kind of film reached a high production level from like the mid-1980s through to the mid-1990s in Hong Kong. So when you hear the term girls with guns, it's frequently used to describe such films from that time period, with some exceptions, of course. And, uh, you know, Cat 3 is also used in a similar manner. Now, some of the more recognizable actresses that would appear in these films are Moon Lee, of course, Yukari Oshima, Michelle Yeoh, Cynthia Rothrock, Cynthia Khan, Joyce Godenzi, and Sybil Hu, uh, just to name a few. Now, if you asked a fan of this subgenre for a recommendation, Iron Angels is one of the first films that would be recommended to you. So the story begins in a poppy field that is owned by a drug cartel. There is an assault led by authorities on a cartel base near the field. It's a good violent shootout to get things rolling. We are then introduced to our villains, who include Yukari Oshima, who are having a gangster meeting to discuss their losses from the poppy field assault. They vow revenge against the cops, and we get our first violent policeman assassination scene soon after. All of this occurs within the opening 10 minutes. And yes, Iron Angels does not mess around. Oshima makes her presence felt very early on as well, uh, because she takes control of the triad meeting. So meanwhile, the Hong Kong cops are, are in a panic now, because of the triad acts of vengeance. You know, they got cops getting clipped left and right in Hong Kong. So they bring in Alex Fong from the American Narcotics Division for some assistance. He teams up with a special Hong Kong enforcement unit known as the Angels, which include Moon Lee, to take down the bad guys. So the action in Iron Angels is a very nice blend of gunplay and hand-to-hand -hand combat. There are also a few stealth sequences, like uh, office break-ins or surveillance scenes as well, thrown in. Now, the shootouts are actually very good in this film. They're violent, they're destructive, uh, good use of squibs and explosions, high body counts, and it, you know, they're the type of scenes that get your blood pumped and you get pumped up while watching the shootouts in this film. There is a shootout at a mansion near the midpoint that is one of the highlights of the entire film. There is some good stunt work to enjoy as well. You know, stuntmen getting thrown out windows, getting hit hard in the martial arts scenes, or just you know falling off of ledges and stuff like that. The scene that everyone talks about, however, is the fight between Moon Lee and Yukari Oshima at the very end. It only lasts a few minutes, but it is still, to this day, one of the better examples of a martial arts fight that features two women. Now, these ladies move very fast and very precisely, it's a joy to watch. And you could completely uh, ignore the fact that they're women anyways, because they move and strike more convincingly than 90% of men in their action films. So I'm, I'm not exaggerating here. They make a very strong impression. But with that said, you know, there is less martial arts fighting between the ladies in Iron Angels when compared to some of these ladies' other films. Like, uh, Moon Lee has had some other films where she, she uses her martial arts more often. Same with Oshima. But like I said previously, there's a lot of gunplay in this. 
And some of the other fights involve the male characters as well. Because there's some men that are in the Angels team as well as women. It's kind of a, a collaborative effort. So do not expect a lot of girl versus girl martial arts action in this film. But what is in here is pretty impressive. One of the other reasons I'm such a fan of Moon Lee is that she's... She has a very likable on-screen presence in many of her films. She's charismatic and fun to watch, even when she's not fighting. Uh, see Mr. Vampire, for an example. There is some playful interaction between the protagonists, uh, which helps to keep things fun in between the action scenes. So, you know, Iron Angels is very nicely paced, and it never drags. This movie's always moving, and there's a lot of action that's nicely spaced out. So in terms of pacing, this is actually pretty, pretty solid stuff. Score and music are quintessential 80s synthesizer awesomeness. You know, it's good stuff if you, if you dig 80s synth music. This is good stuff. Now the script, if you want to complain about the script, it's got its problems. You know, basic character development. Characters here are pretty basic. There's, nobody, there's no, no deep character arcs or story arcs in this. There are a few unrealistic aspects as well. One of the villains, and I can't figure this out, has kind of a friendly relationship with one of the protagonists who works in the Angel Force, but I still do not understand why. <laughs> it's a very, like, undeveloped relationship. Like, they fight sometimes, and then other times they have, like, this, this mutual respect for one another, but it's not really ever developed or established. But, uh, it's all right. No, no big deal. There is a hilarious scene involving a stuffed dummy, you know, a lot of times in action movies, you'll see a stuffed dummy get thrown off a bridge in place of an actor, but that's not the, that's not how they use it. They use it to deceive our protagonists at one point, which was actually pretty hilarious because it just comes from out of nowhere. So you'll know that scene when you see it. I thought it was pretty funny. But overall, you know, the script, it does its job to bridge the action scenes. It gives you some, some good interaction between the characters. It establishes the conflicts mostly. So it... It does its job, man, I think. When all is said and done, Iron Angels is considered uh, by many fans of the Girls With Guns subgenre of film to be a landmark of that type of film. You know, there were some uh, films before it, like Yes, Madam and stuff like that, but this is one that really helped to popularize it uh, in Hong Kong and even internationally. So it provides a very nice starting point for viewers who have yet to experience this kind of thing from Hong Kong. And it is, it did have a legitimate Region 1 DVD release, which I have in my collection. In the, uh, it was a U.S. release. But it's becoming more difficult to find and a little bit more expensive. So if you can find this film, check it out. It is available on YouTube, I think, without subtitles, which is actually quite doable, I think. But uh, definitely check this one out if you're, if you're into this kind of thing. And as always, I'll see you next time.